Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So today I'm going to talk about Chapak Exchange Scholarship Program. Now this is one of those exchange programs in which students from India who are enrolled in institutes of India, they can go to France and they can do an internship program over there for 3-4 months. All right? uh, it, it depends, like 3 months, 6 months, it depends upon the work and all. So that's what this program is all about. I'll be talking about this in more detail in this particular video. Now, before going into it, let me tell you that I discuss about internships, scholarships, admission notifications, uh, regarding PhD, regarding research, all those things I discuss on my separate channel. Uh, that's all about research uh, and the link for that is in the description of this video. I'm making this video on this channel so that I just inform you about that uh, because a lot many of you are not aware about that. So please subscribe to that channel as well because I'll be posting all these scholarships internships and all the videos on that particular channel all right so having said that let's talk about uh, chapak exchange scholarship program so this as you can see it's uh, it's a collaborative program uh, by france and india and if you come to this particular website the link will be there in the description of this video so you can directly come over here the website is in in, in english and french both but we'll talk about we'll discuss or we'll see in english itself right so what this scholarship program is, so it says scholarship is designed for Indian student from all fields and stream to study enrolled in an Indian institution at the bachelor's or master's degree level, okay, who wish to undertake an exchange semester program for a period of one to six months, right. So as I said, you should be enrolled in either in bachelor's or in master's in India, in some institute of India and from there you can basically join or you can go for an internship for one month to six months depending upon how your work proceeds over there, right. So what are the benefits of this? So benefit is that the Chapak Exchange program offers the following benefits, okay. The first one is that you get monthly stipend of 860 euros. So for all your expenses, then you will be having social security. That means you'll be having uh, like uh, all the insurance and all will be there. Then a student visa and campus France fee waiver will be there. That means you won't be having, you won't be, uh, like you don't have to pay uh, the campus fee and all. Then comes your assistance in finding a affordable student accommodation. So you will be getting a, a student friendly accommodation over there so that you don't have to pay much over there, right. Now let's talk about that what are the eligibilities because that's more important to be discussed. So. The, uh, you should be following all these uh, eligibility criteria. The first one is that you should be an Indian national residing in India or an OCI card holder. Okay, so you should be an Indian national. That's the most important thing. The second thing is that you, your age should be less than 30 years while applying for this particular application. And the third and most important thing is that you should be currently enrolled in an Indian institution or higher learning that has a tie up with the French institution where the applicant will pursue an exchange semester. Now this is mandatory. Okay. Now what does it mean like whether an Indian institution has a tie up with the French institution or not. So almost all of the higher institutes which are there in India like if you talk about IITs, ISERs or uh, like universities also they have this tie up or they have this, uh, this particular thing. Okay. So you just have to check uh, with your institute if it is having or not. If you are studying in some state university, if you are studying in a private institution in that case, again you have to check in your web, in your institute whether they have a tie-up with the French institution or not. Because it's an exchange program, so if the tie-up is made in such a way that the students from India go to France and students from France they come to India and that's called exchange program and both of them learn about the things in the respective countries. All right. Now note that the final semester students working on research projects or thesis are not eligible to apply. So who can apply on this? So if you are a bachelor student that one in that case also you can apply. If you are a if you are a MSc student in that case also you can apply but you should be not be in the uh, final semester of your masters. Then if you are a PhD student if you are currently enrolled in PhD and if you are not in the final year if you are not writing your thesis in that case also you can apply. So initial years if you are in first year, second year of PhD in that case also you can apply over here provided your age should be less than 30 years and you belong to this institute. Okay. Now what's the application process? So interested student must inquire 
with their Indian institution about the partnership with the host institution in the France before starting the application procedure as they have mentioned it very clearly over it, right. Now they say that the application must be submitted on the online scholarship portal. This is the online scholarship portal along with the scans of the following documents. Now what are those documents? The first document is passport size photograph. Then you should be having a copy of first page or the last page of your uh, passport, right. If you will be getting your passport after the deadline, please attach passport application proof. So if you don't have a uh, passport yet, but you should you have applied for it, you can give the passport application form as well or the proof as key you are about to get your passport. And then your curriculum YTA that means your CV, then NOC from the Indian Institute that means no objection certificate. So your institute will give you a no objection certificate that they don't have any objection if you apply for this. Then you have a scanned copy of admission acceptance letter from the French higher education institute. If you have not received the acceptance letter before the deadline, attach an email corresponding to show that you are in the process of getting it from them. Now let me tell you over here that what exactly you have to do step by step. So the first step is to check whether your institute has a uh, tie up or whether it, it is having a uh, like a collaboration with any French institute or not. That's the first thing which you have to check. So if your institute has a tie up, if there is uh, like your institute has that collaboration with the uh, with the French institute, in that case, what you have to do is you have to ask the French uh, institute about this. Okay, so you have to get a acceptance letter from there. So that thing your institute will do on behalf of you or they can they will help you to do that like how to write down mail and all. So you have to write a mail to the French Institute, the one which your institute is in collaboration with and that institute will tell that yes they are ready to take you or ready to accept you. So that is called the acceptance letter. That is very important and you should be having that before the deadline. Now let's say if the deadline comes and you have you don't have that acceptance letter in that case you can attach the correspondence email correspondence to show that you are in the process of getting it. Okay, so that is also possible. It doesn't take much time. Acceptance letter can be given in two days. Okay, so don't it, it doesn't take much time over there. Now, next thing is needed is a scanned copy of mark sheet of higher secondary school bachelor's and master's degrees, including those of completed semesters or the ongoing degree. Right, student pursuing master's program must upload their bachelor's degree mark sheet as well as passing certificate. Next is French language certificate that is uh, DELF or DALF if any if you have a French language certificate in that case also that's that's something which is uh, like given more priority that means you have learned French language so these are certificates known as uh, like for the French uh, if you have learned French language you will get this certificate so this is not 100% mandatory but if you have you can apply that okay so that's why it is mentioned if any next is document of employment or internship record if any that means if you have any uh, employment record or if you have any internship record that you can also uh, apply okay and next is recommendation letter from the universities this is again optional so these three things are optional over here rest of the things you have to uh, like provide as a scan copy while applying for this okay now there are certain very important points mentioned over here it says that note if you have not received the acceptance letter from the french institution before the deadline you can attach the email as I said that if you don't have that uh, acceptance letter in that case your uh, email which shows that you are in the process of getting the acceptance letter is also going to work. Second says that all the above document must be in the PDF or JPEG format word RTF ODT text message documents if folder screenshots or a scan of social media are not acceptable. Application submitted without required documents or incorrect documents will be rejected. And the last one is that the French embassy is not obliged to respond to candidates whose application are incomplete or not considered for the scholarship award. So these are the things I hope you, are, you understood it. Now what's the selection process? Application will be selected on the basis of academic excellence, consistency, quality of application and statement of purpose. So statement of purpose again your French uh, institute is going to tell you that what you have to write in that. Now there is no CGP or percentage cutoff for the scholarship. So there is no initial cutoff for that. Any percentage if you have got you can apply for this. What's the timeline for this? So opening of the call of application is on 1st of March. 
and deadline for the receive, reception, uh, reception of application is Friday 20th of April and publication of result will be done in the end of May right if you have any question or if you have any assistance in that case you can mail to this particular email scholarship.fans at the rate ifindia.in all right so you can see the related contents are here like the previous results are over here and that's all for this particular program so i'll just show you quickly that how you can apply or the application process how it looks okay so i will click on this link as i have shown uh, so once you click on this you will be redirected to a particular page now here it says that login to campus fans here you have to basically create a new account okay so you have to create a new account using your uh, facebook or google plus that means with your gmail if you don't have a social media then also you can start with this uh, like with filling all the registration well uh, like all the basic things and then you can submit and that's how you will be registered and after registering you have to fill the form based upon the details which are asked and these documents which we have which has been mentioned so these documents you have to upload over there all right so this is all about uh, chapak exchange scholarship program it's one of the uh, like programs which are very highly rated ones and where uh, it's a good opportunity actually for those who are right, right now in their masters or bachelors and want to get some exposure uh, from France or from some outside India like from foreign countries right so if you are someone uh, if you are one of them or if you know someone who is in search of these please share this video to them and if you are one of them please apply for it if you have any other questions you can ask that in the comment section below and that's all from my side for this video thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next one till then have a great day bye bye take care hey guys so an academy has recently launched two new uh, types of subscription these are three month subscription and nine month subscription for the csr net exam and these are launched for the upcoming csr net exam that is three month subscription is for the june exam and the nine month subscription is for december exam so in case if you are targeting these exams these are the subscription which you should actually get this subscription you are going to get all the courses of an academy all the detailed courses which are there on the academy you are also going to get access to all the interactive live courses live classes where you can interact with the educator you can ask doubts over there and also you get access to all the live test and quizzes so a lot of mock tests a lot of quizzes are there on the academy platform so you get access to all of them if you take or any of these subscription so in case if you are preparing for csnet exam and if you want to give final touch to your preparation uh, this subscription is going to help you a lot so go for either three month subscription or nine month subscription for the csr june 2023 or csr december 2023 exam depending upon which exam you are targeting upon now again you can use my referral code that is n underscore huda in order to get an additional discount on the subscription fees so as you click on this the subscription fees decreases by 10 percent and that's the benefit of applying this uh, referral code so get the subscription and give the final touch to your preparation of csnet exam